Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this gorgeous 13 by 4 lace wig. It's the Texture Deep Wave and it's 150% density. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, keep on watching. So for starters, this is the wig straight out of the box. This one came from I Wish and it is absolutely gorgeous. I believe they sent this to me in their longest length, either 24 or 26. All details are listed in the description bar for you guys to shop. Now this one is pretty much ready to go. It is a lace front wig, so I'll be able to add baby hair from ear to ear. As you guys can see, I have on a lighter tan cap and it does not match. So you definitely will be able to see that cap underneath the lace but you know that's all about pretty much making sure that your cap matches your complexion and if it doesn't use the ball cap method and add a little bit of powder on top and you'll be good to go I gave you a little bit of a back shot of the hair you guys can see it's super full super long and I'm absolutely in love now the only con is this one did not come with the knots bleach but because the lace pretty much is very close to my complexion I'm okay with that because I'll be able to finesse so I'm going to keep this one kind of beginner friendly and not do any bleaching of knots I'm gonna use this product right here I'm gonna spray it on the inside of the lace and it's pretty much going to be a cheat quick way of tinting the lace I'll have it linked down in the description bar as well as everything I use including this bomb blow dryer I sprayed a nice thin coat and I went ahead and blow dried it with the blow dryer I'm struggling because I wanted to show you guys on camera but the camera is way too high for my arms but you guys get the picture just spray a thin coat of it on the lace blow dry until it's dry now the reason I blow dry is because it will transfer to the opposite side you guys can see here it is gray a little bit like ashy gray on on the hair and we're gonna get that out with no problem I also added an elastic band but again if you go ahead and just apply the wig after you apply that spray and you don't let it dry it will be a little bit cakey or messy on like your forehead and your lace so when it comes to your install there will be like this thick product that is mixed into your glue which you do you definitely don't want if you want like a clean application you can definitely finesse it but again it's just best to allow it to dry first So now that I've cut off all the excess lace, I'm just going to go ahead and separate the baby hair. I definitely want to see what they provided. This wig was pre-plucked and as you guys can see, it's very nice. When you go behind the baby hair, you guys can see exactly what they've done. So I'm going to tweeze it just a little bit, but you guys can see they gave me a great start. So I'll pretty much be good to go. So all I did was section out the baby hair or what I'm going to use as baby hair. Now I'm going to go behind that and just kind of tweeze out a little bit bit of the hair that's not going to be baby hair if that makes any sense you guys know once this is bonded down that hair behind the baby hair will look a little bit more full and boxy so you definitely want it to look a little bit more gradient I'm not going to go as far as like an extreme pluck and tweeze I just kind of want to break it up so that it's not too perfect or boxy and then we're going to go ahead and install the wig now this one because I did off camera add an elastic is glueless in the sense that if I just wanted to go ahead and make baby hair it it does lay flat and smooth on my hairline and it won't move or lift so I will be able to go ahead and just um, you know make the baby hair and keep it pushing but this is a wig that I actually wanted to wear for a few days so I decided to make um, you know bond it down so that way it is flawless but I was showing you there how it lays on my hairline I'm gonna tweeze just a little bit of that front where it's a little bit bulky but I'm gonna kind of cheat with my bonding I am gonna use my free spray and I just kind of added a little bit on top I'm gonna blow dry it in but I'm only gonna bond down like a little bit from like ear to ear or like eyebrow to eyebrow because I'm not gonna be using utilizing the sideburns the sideburns will not be exposed 
So for me, this is just like a cheat, easy install. It's going to be the same thing if you go from like sideburn to sideburn, um, you know, really just adding the spray all the way around. But again, I'm not going to be using that. So there's no need or no point. So now as we do the baby hair, I've already trimmed it down pretty short, but as you guys see, even though you separate the baby hair and you kind of swoop it, when you do your swoops, you kind of will find that other longer hairs will get like trapped in that. And opposed to trying to separate them again, it's sometimes easier just to go ahead and cut those and tweeze those as well. And you guys kind of see step by step, that's pretty much what I'm doing. It's all optional. You don't want the baby hair to be too thick, but you know, just go with the flow and do what works best for you. Now here I try tried to like do some yeah. other kind of swoop situation and it did not work out all when it's all sitting then it's all gonna look good but yeah I was trying to do something unique and it did not work out Now here, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down everything around the crown of the head now that we have the baby hair done. As you guys can see, I am adding heat. Now this is deep wave textured hair and I am gonna utilize it as like a wet or, you know, like a wavy look. But I do wanna add a little bit of heat just because I kind of feel like around the crown or the parting, it always looks better to me when it is super flat. I've seen so many beauties go ahead and like leave it curly from root to tip. And for me, it just looks like a wig. Like it kind of has to be a little bit more I guess smooth or not thin I don't know what I'm trying to say basically like a little bit more pressed out and flat around the um, parting just for it to look right on me again I've tried the curly from root to tip and literally having it curly from the parting and sometimes most times it just looks way too wiggy now here I'm just adding a little bit of powder in the parting it definitely looks super powdery because of the brush that I'm using but I'm gonna go ahead and finesse that and when it's all said and done it's again gonna look good but I do pack this in very well just so that it'll kind of cover up as much of the knots as possible and now I'm gonna go ahead and add water and move to the pretty much top portion of the wig and we're gonna do a more natural style around the rest of the hair you guys can see how flat this wig lays down around the crown that makes me super proud because this one will look amazing um, you know in a ponytail or what have you and I'm absolutely in love the texture of the hair is super amazing it didn't give me any problems no crazy smells no tangling no shedding this one here as you guys can see I'm pulling out remember I did tweeze a little bit so because I tweeze with the wig on you have to kind of comb it out to get all that hair that you tweeze out or else it just get trapped in the rest of the wig so I'm kind of just pulling that out and pulling out the rest of the hair and again there was no tangling or anything crazy with it I've had this week this wig on for about maybe five days since I've styled it and I went ahead and wet it down and added a little bit of conditioner and it's still beautiful it still smells amazing um, there's no craziness there's no shedding or anything like that just absolutely all around a good good wig I'm going to do my favorite, which is to add a little bit of a scarf around the hairline while I go ahead and beat my face and we'll be back with the finished results. So 
this here is the finished look. I went ahead and got cute for you guys. I can do some pictures and some slow mos. Really wanted to just show you guys really quickly. Now, again, the knots were not bleached on this one, so I kind of just wanted to do minimal work. I know a lot of you are beginners and you don't know, um, you know how to bleach the knots or pluck the wig out. Um, so I wanted to do something that was super simple. I tried to do the soup this way, and as you guys can see, I felt miserably. You guys have never seen me do that on my channel because I've never tried that before. But yeah, it was a pretty much a fail. I'm going to try it again um, at another time. This wig will definitely look so much better if you go ahead and bleach the knots. Bleaching the knots definitely makes everything look so much more flawless. But again, you can still wear the wig and enjoy it if you are not comfortable putting bleach on your wig because you guys know with bleaching the knots comes a little bit more shedding, especially around the hairline on your lace. But yeah, I absolutely love this hair. I kind of wanted to switch it up. Another thing that I don't think you guys have ever seen me do was take natural curly or wavy hair and just wear it in its natural state without like co-washing it um, or adding any product and that's pretty much what I wanted to do here this this hair is definitely gonna look beautiful when you go ahead and add a little bit of a conditioner um, co-wash it and just you know let it go but again I wanted to do something big and fun especially with the colder um, months coming um, ahead of us I definitely know that a lot of times you don't want to wake up and have wet hair when you leave the house because you definitely will get sick so something like this will look super duper fun. I literally have a drawer full of like hair clips and, um, and pins and stuff. And so I know it'll be so fun to just go ahead and just add like your colored clips. Even if you add some black clips to it, that would be fun. You guys know I have these. So maybe I'll add one or two of uh, these. And I have the regular rhinestone. These here are just crystals. And then this one here says... Star. So maybe we'll have fun and put some jewels or headbands. I don't know if you guys still are into headbands, but I definitely am. You can just put one in there and just kind of add a vibe to it. I actually think that looks super cute. Let me know what you guys think. It's just one of those headbands from the beauty supply store that has like um, rhinestones around it. And it kind of gives you just a different look and keeps your hair out of your face. So let me know what you guys think. Oh, and this is the packaging the wig came with. Um, they did include some um, elastic. And you guys should see I did do the elastic band myself. Also, they included wig caps. So go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this wig. I'll have all the information on it linked in the description bar. If there are any coupon codes or sales going on, I'll also have that information down below for you guys. Also, the few items I did use to complete this look are linked as well. So make sure you guys check that out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches! Thank you.